Welcome back. I'm Paul Merkley for Seniors Junction. This is the fourth of our five brief presentations to get us all to have some common vocabulary and some conceptions for our classes. This time we're talking about the orchestra. The orchestra has changed over time, can look a little bit different. But I just want you to be able to distinguish between the broad sections of the orchestra, the broad types of instruments. That is to say, between the strings, the brass, and the woodwinds. We'll get later on so that you'll be very clear about which string, which brass, which woodwind. But to begin with, the three sections, that would be great. And I'm going to go straight to share screen. First section to talk about is the strings. Again, I don't need you to distinguish between the different string parts at the moment, but I've just listed them here for your convenience. Violins are divided into first violins and second violins. The head of the violin section is called the concert master. He or she tunes the orchestra and works carefully with the closely with the conductor. All right, I've listed them in order of range from the highest to the low, the low being the bass, above that the cello, the viola in the middle, and the violins are the highest and most numerous. All right, to give you the sound of a string section, I've chosen a lovely piece by Samuel Barber, his adagio for strings. Just a few seconds of it to give you the, the sound. Okay, beautiful. They were perfected already by 1700. No improvements since then. Lovely. Strings actually in the orchestra have a neutral color. They are used most frequently. And so it doesn't raise an eyebrow when you hear a stringed instrument playing. You don't say, oh, What's going on here? How unusual to hear a string. No, you hear the strings most of the time. All right, next those shiny brass instruments, bright, bright colors from this. I've picked Aaron Copeland's Fanfare for a Common Man. They are the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba, again, from highest sounding to lowest sounding. This piece by Copeland is going to start out with the French horns. You'll see them and hear them. Trumpets. Okay. Finally, uh, not counting the percussion, which I'm not going to play for you specifically because you know what drums and xylophones sound like. Finally, the woodwind section. Woodwinds, we think of them as reeds and double reeds. Reeds, piccolo flute, clarinet, saxophone, and bass clarinet from top to lowest. The beautiful double reeds, the haunting, haunting double reeds, oboe, which in the orchestra usually is the instrument used to give the tuning, to give the A that everybody else tunes to. The English horn, the bassoon, the contrabassoon. 
I decided to play you a little bit of Debussy's lovely piece, The Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn. Yet the sounds of the woodwinds in our ear starts out with solo flute and other woodwinds come in at the end of the excerpt. Leonard Bernstein conducting, and wasn't that lovely with the harp coming in at the end? The harp, of course, is a stringed instrument, not a woodwind. But you heard the other woodwinds, the reeds. Woodwinds, very exotic colors. Brass, very bright. Woodwinds, very subtle, very nuanced. Strings, kind of a neutral color. Think of, think of composers using orchestral instruments, the way a painter chooses colors and puts them in. And of course, as you know, in more modern artworks, the colors have almost a structural role to play. And in the same way, orchestration, the choice of orchestral instruments in 20th century music can have almost a structural role to play. Whereas in the, in the early 19th century, that wasn't the case. When we listen to Beethoven's music, it's just certain instruments are occasionally used for special color. But overall, that doesn't affect the form or structure of his music. Well, we'll get a chance to talk in more detail about all of this. One more of these presentations follows. It's the one on major and minor. Um, and then you're ready to go. I hope you're enjoying these presentations. I'm certainly am, and I'm, I'm excited about the prospect of our talking more fully and having question, answer, and discussion. So thanks for listening.